Hey, what is going on? I'm LaPrentice, and in this video, it is going to be Smart Water versus Life Water as we test these out to see which one's the best. All right, now if you don't know, I help health conscious consumers replace toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. Now, this video, we're gonna be testing these waters for three distinct things, all right? First one is antioxidants. The second one is alkalinity. And third, I like to call superior hydration. Now, if you have not seen any of these videos before, what you want to do is smash that subscribe button. The reason why is because I'm gonna provide you with tons of value, different tips, tricks, and tactics on how to boost your overall wellness. All right, now let's go ahead and get started. We have our smart water, and this is actually a vapor distilled type of water. We'll go ahead and pour some of that in here. And then we also have life water, and <laughs> life water is not vapor distilled, is actually oh, reverse osmosis. So this will be a unique test to find out exactly which one of these is the better of the two. I got the same amount there. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is antioxidants. Now, you're probably thinking, why antioxidants? Here's why. It's because you don't want to eat fruits and vegetables all day, every day. Okay, let's face it. No one wants to eat broccoli all the time. No one wants to eat Brussels sprouts all the time. And so if we have water, which is 70% of, of our body, and it's actually able to neutralize these things around us, then we're good. And you're probably thinking like, what do you mean these things around us? I'm talking about free radicals, okay? They're in the air that we breathe. They're in our cell phones, our electronics. And what they do is they come in and they rob our healthy cells of their electrons. This makes them oxidize and create inflammation. And those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. So that oxidation is positively charged, creates aging, rust, and sickness within our body. It actually starts to spread, okay? So those antioxidants are great because they neutralize that oxidation, reduce that inflammation, and it's essentially a fountain of youth. That's why I'm looking so young, all right? So those antioxidants are negatively charged, and guess what? Our water should have the same thing. So we're gonna test that out using this ORP meter. See how stank my breath is? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in both of the wires, and if we see a positive number, that means it's oxidizing us, it's rusting us like a moldy banana, right? However, if you see a negative number, that means it's antioxidant, like a fresh green banana, that's probably too early to be right, or to be picked. So let's start off with our tap, or with our uh, smart water. Let's see what we get here. All right, so right here we are showing a positive 230, all right. Less up, next up, let's take a look at this life water. See where that's sitting. All right, now that is sitting, that is going to 250 and higher. So I would say that out of the two, the smart water is less oxidizing, but they're both still oxidizing. They're both showing positive numbers, okay? So that means they are both still oxidizing us. And if you're curious on if there is a water that could be an antioxidant to where we don't need to eat as many fruits and vegetables. I'm not saying don't eat them. They have other things that are equally as good, but our water, is our water that can actually show a negative number? And there is, it's this one right here. Let me pour just a little. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. Don't wanna take up too much time. Let's see what number we get. Wow, look at that number. That is definitely an antioxidant right there. In fact, that's actually stronger than your oranges. Your oranges normally do a negative 50, so it'll probably take like 10, 15, 16, or I don't know, do the math, let me know in the comments below. All right, so that's the first one, antioxidants, and both of these are oxidizing, but this one was the winner just because it was a little bit lower. All right, so next up is alkalinity. And this one is equally as important just because cancer and sickness cannot survive in an alkaline environment. 
And that environment that we're talking about is your body, all right? So with that being said, you want to consume things that are alkaline, that actually bring balance. Because everything that we're doing, once again, the air that we're breathing, cigarettes, the pollution, all that type of stuff, the bad foods that we're eating, that creates acidity in the body, right? And those things need to be balanced out to keep our blood at around a 7.36, okay? Now, if we're consuming things that are alkaline, it's gonna use what we consume to keep that blood balanced, okay? If we're consuming things that are acidic, however, then it's still gonna do that, but it's just gonna start taking it from our skin, it's gonna start taking it from our joints, our ligaments, our bones, Right? It's going to start taking the calcium and everything from there, magnesium. And then that's how osteoporosis happens. Because it's just, oh, it just hurts. Everything hurts. Okay? And then if it continues that, that continues to happen, it's going to take, take it from our brain. And this is how Alzheimer's happens. So, we're going to use these pH red drops and we're going to put a few in. Now, if you see a red or orange or yellow, that means it's acidic. It's eating the minerals and electrolytes in our body. Okay? Remember, because we got to keep that blood balanced. However, if you see a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, that means it is alkaline. So, as you can see, both of these are just about even. They're both showing about neutral, which, eh, can't complain, <laughs> all right? However, if you want something that's actually alkaline, that's actually gonna help do your body some good, then you want to learn more about that purple stuff there. If you want to get with me, find me on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to this channel. We can chat and I can show you more about this water. All right. So as far as alkalinity, I'll say it's a tie. I'll say they're pretty even. Maybe this one slightly more. All right. Let's get on to that third one, superior hydration. All right. Um, for that third and final round, this has been pretty neck and neck for the most part. Smart water, I'd say, has been winning as far as the antioxidants, but not really. And this was slightly more neutral, but not really. And so now, third part is superior hydration. And the best way to do that that I found, besides me just drinking a lot of water and you guys waiting, is to use these tea bags, all right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make tea with cold water. Yep, you heard me. So just picture for a moment a chain link fence. Now, if you throw a beach ball and just hurl it at that chain link fence, it's gonna bounce back, right? However, we take a marble and throw it through that same chain link fence. It's gonna go through it, probably hit a car, break some glass, and I'm in trouble, right? Because <laughs> I told you to do it. That's what our water should be doing. It should be small enough to actually pass through that fence. That's why when we drink water, a lot of times it just sits in our stomach. It should be hydrating us at a cellular level, all right? That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and take some smart water and see if we can make tea. All right, it's not working. You're probably thinking, Laprentis, of course it's not working. That's not how you make tea, you gotta boil the water. Well, you know what, let me just continue this strategy. <laughs> See if we can make some tea. Maybe with life water. Maybe it'll work better that way. And as you see, both of these have some difficulties making tea. This one's starting to do it a little bit. Right? Just a little. I'll give this one more chance. Maybe you can start making it. Barely, like these are barely making any tea, right? So it's not absorbing, it's not pulling out the nutrients, it's not going through the tea bag to actually make tea. However, right, let me try this water right here and see what happens. Look, it immediately starts making tea. Like that's what should be happening when you're drinking your water. It should immediately start absorbing into your body and start pushing out the toxins, start giving you the nutrients that you need so you can start feeling hydrated. Oh, you know what? Let me just, maybe one more. Nope, not doing it. I don't know why. <laughs> oh man, yep, not doing it. So neither one of these are really 
good for hydrating us. So I want to say it's a tie. Try it one more time. Yep, neither one of these are hydrating us. So I would say they're both even, okay? That concludes our test. We looked at these for three different things. The first one was antioxidants. They were both oxidizing, and that's not a good thing. That means it's creating sickness in our body. And SmartWire was a little bit better on that aspect. Second thing we tested for was alkalinity, and we know that sickness cannot survive in an alkaline environment. They were both even in that department. This one was a little bit better this time around. And the last was superior hydration. Neither one of them could barely hydrate us. Like maybe 10% of the water was actually used to hydrate. That's, that's not good, right? So you wanna drink better water, especially this is our body, sunny present water, we should be drinking the best. So if you're interested in learning more, make sure you check out my website, LaprentisSampson.com, where I have tons of more material on boosting and improving your wellness. And check out my Facebook page so you can check out videos that I've done that's too hot for the tube, all right? Hopefully you enjoyed this video, you learned something. Let me know what waters you want me to test next by putting them down in the comments below. And remember, if you change your water, you can change your life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.